Now we take a look at making custom boot screens on 3D printers with Marlin. On a lot of 3D printers you'll notice when you turn them on, there'll be a custom boot screen, usually with the company's logo. These are actually pretty easy to create if you have a full graphical LCD display and you're running the Marlin firmware. There are a couple of steps that you need to do to get your artwork ready to go on your 3D printer, so let's walk through that process now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Paint. You can use a lot of different programs to create your artwork, but Paint does come with Windows and it's pretty straightforward to use. But you can use Paint.net or you can use GIMP. Any file that will create a BMP file, you can use it to create your artwork. For this type of display, your artwork needs to be 128 by 64 pixels. So let's go to File, Properties, we'll change this to 128, and the height, 64. To load properly, your artwork needs to be black and white. So let's go ahead and tick the black and white button now. Click OK. Now since that makes the canvas really small, let's go ahead and zoom in. Now you can make your artwork as complicated as you want, but for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So let's just add some text, and we'll have the printer display Chris's basement. I'm going to make the font as big as I can to fill up this canvas. A size of 18 seems to be pretty good. I'll center the words how I like, and there we have a really simple boot screen. Now we'll save this file, and make sure you save it as a BMP file. We'll call it chrisboot.bmp. Now that we have a really simple artwork created, we need to go out and get a program called LCD Assistant. LCD Assistant is what takes your artwork and turns it into something that the LCD can read. It actually assigns a color per pixel. So we'll go to Downloads, we'll Extract All, and we'll open up LCD Assistant. We want a horizontal screen, our width will be 128, and our height is 64. Everything else can stay default. Go to File, Load Image, find the boot screen you just created, and then once again go to File, Save Output. And we'll just call this bootscreen.txt. Now let's open up the Marlin folder. Marlin, Marlin. Scroll down to the Marlin INO file and open up this project. So if you go to the configuration.h tab and scroll down, it's pretty close to the top. There'll be a line that says show custom boot screen. You can uncomment that. Now we need to create a boot screen file. If you go into example configurations, there's a couple of different boot screen examples in here. Since I'm using the CR10, there is one in the Creality folder for the CR10. So we'll go into CR10 and we'll grab this file. So copy that file and we'll head back to the main Marlin project and just paste that file in here. Now I recommend editing this with Notepad++ because it's going to make your life a little easier. So let's right click, edit with Notepad++. Also, open the file that the LCD Assistant created with Notepad++. Now copy just the lines in between the two curly brackets. So from here, all the way down to here. We'll copy that. Let's open a new Notepad++ document. We'll paste that in here. These are just the lines that we need to add to the boot screen file. Go up to View and go to Summary. So you'll need the word count. In this case, it's 1024. So remember that number. Click OK. With all these lines still copied to your clipboard, go back over to underscore bootscreen.h and replace all these example lines with the lines from your new file. We'll paste those in there. Now we need to decide how long the boot screen will be displayed. Let's let it display for five seconds. We need to set the width. We went the maximum, which is 128, and the height is 64. Here's where your summary number comes in. You need to tell it how big the BMP file is. And in our case, it was 1024. So we can save this file. Let's head back to our Marlin directory. Make sure the underscore boot screen dot H file is updated. Back to our Marlin INO file in our IDE editor. Remember, you have to be using the full graphical display. The regular small LCD screen won't work for this. 
To check what screen you're using, you can just scroll down to configuration.h. Near the bottom is the LCD configuration. The CR10 does have an entry for its stock display, but it's really close to the full graphic discount display. That can be found a little above this setting. This screen will work with the boot screen as well, but the regular discount smart controller will not. Head to Tools, make sure you have the right board selected. Mine is a Sanguino because this is the CR10. My processor is an AT Mega 1284P, 16 megahertz. Make sure you have the right COM port. Hit Verify to make sure the sketch is gonna work. If the compile is successful, go ahead and hit Upload. And then when your printer reboots after the upload, you should see your brand new boot screen. And there it is. I find it gives the 3D printer a nice personal touch. And that's it. Now every time you take your printer with you, you can boot it up, show off your sweet custom logo, and be the envy of all your friends. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.